Uh, hi, whoever was watching this for the first time. Hi, I'm the Sebrano. I'm new here. Uh, I thought this would be a unique thing to do uh, because I know a lot of people like stock control and I haven't seen much enthusiasm from all the streamers that I've been watching. I mean, I've seen it mentioned in passing in the Corruptional Podcast release list and no one even said anything. And I'm a founder, that means I paid a lot, a lot in advance for this game. And I got access to development and I played it through development. Um, I experienced a bit of trouble in the adventure part of it a bit early, uh, so I only played a little bit. And now I decided to start everything from scratch. So let's play Stuck Doll Origins. It's starting now. Okay, here we go. That's new. I've seen that one. Let's start from where we stopped. Uh, which one was the last one? <laughs> this one. Yeah. Yeah, I'm recording this in advance because I'm not allowed to, st to stream it until it's out. And I want to get a bit ahead. So, let's go. Okay, I was heading to Triton to say hello to my Taiwan friends. <clears throat> One landing zone, please. Thank you, love. Let's collect some resources before we speak to them, because stock control is short. Stuck Doll wasted a lot of resources building the Vindicator, and now they need more. That's the time I'm gonna go there later. First, some more ammonia, and more ammonia, and almost full. Yeah, okay. Night time. Hi. Hail. Our new probable friends came back. So, will you help? I'm considering it. We just got attacked by a scribe probe. You did? That's not good. No, it isn't. Did you tell them we were here? Um, no, but it said some pretty concerning things about clearing our system. Well, now that sounds <coughs> extremely not good. Yeah, like I, I said, if you help us repair our ship, we might be able to help you deal with the scribe. So, will you help? We'll help. In fact, we've already found everything you need. Great! Now we can fix our ship! Good. Stand by watching the Taiwan fix the ship with surprising speed. It worked! <laughs> We've repaired the hull damage and restored power to our propulsion systems. That's good. It will take another minute or so to get our defensive systems online. So please, don't murder us! <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Great! So, my new damp chum. Why don't we head back to Earth? You can introduce us to your parents. Mm, no. And leaders. Maybe. <clears throat> we can tell them what we've told you. Or we could just hang out. Uh. Oh, you could hold up your end of the deal. You're not swimming with any diseases, are you? Most definitely. But we have procedures to minimize the health-related risks of contact with alien species. Meeting aliens is not new to us, human. Come on, then. Hooray! Uh, 
The Tai won't join me. Uh, yeah, I need to get out of here. <clears throat> Wait, uh, ship status, ship status, ship status. Uh, we should return to Earth and just tell Stantol. They'll also be pretty interested to know more about the race of malevolent space aliens coming our way. I have, uh, what is it? What is the time on? Uh, manifest? No. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? How is this a mission item? Um, fleet status. Yeah, where's the fleet? Where's the Taiwan? Ah, damn it. Hi. Uh, why don't we have permission to exist? Hey, we grew up here. Uh, that's funny, we haven't seen you around here much. I think we got off on the wrong foot. We greet you in peace. Hey, you attacked us. We saw the weapons break as we approached this system. We see the wreckage now. When I communicate the details of our encounter to describe no suit, they will be most displeased at the loss of our equipment. So you didn't communicate it yet? Hmm. I suspect you are the ones that Taiwan have been hiding from us. Who knew they were filled with such It's mostly ooze. Um, you said you haven't told your superiors about us yet. Whoa, where did that come from? That's a rhetorical question, actually. I know exactly where that came from. A bad, bad place. We're still repairing our <laughs> weapon <laughs> systems, so we won't be able mm. to help you. Which is a shame, because we really, really wanted to do that. I wanted you to do Good that. Good luck! I wanted to try out the telephone. Fine, Vindicator. Whoopsie. Vindicator away. That's good. Fire. No, this is shit. Ah. ah, I hit you. Ow. Eat nukes. Eat more nukes. Stop. No, 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 no. Ah. Damn it. Okay, could have been more careful with that. Let's try that again. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You do not have permission to be here. Who are you to tell us where we might be, Savage? This star is the property of the Strive Empire. No, this one's ours. It is not. You are trespassing. No, and you're trespassing. That is why you do not have permission to exist, Savage. You don't even know us. The mere fact that we do not know you. 
is proof of your savageness. Savage. You have very little vocabulary. Do you need more proof of your barbarity? How about the destruction of our innocent probe? Do you know when I can live? Who knew they would be of me that time? Along with all the rest of the time. Fine, you wanna fight? You got one. Good luck! Yeah, I did much better the first time around. <coughs> oh, nice tools. Neptune and Triton. Haha! Didn't see that one coming, huh? Battery region. You keep hitting that the moon. I'm gonna get some more crew. And you can just die. Die. Ow, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Ah. Damn, the early ship sucks. Could you not know instead? <laughs> if we turn the time over to you, could we go free? Yeah, yeah. Let's let's try and survive this. Let's subscribe, like, cruiser, and I'm screwed. Ow! Wrong direction. Ah! Gravity. Okay, not dying. Should be easy. Right? Just keep a bit of distance. Ow! This weapon is far too powerful! I need to look for crew! <clears throat> you are so awesome and sexy. What? What? What did you just say? I think it was you that said something. 
How about we get around to saving humanity from the murder aliens? Of course. And it's not just a humanity <clears throat> saving deal now. It's also a Taiwan saving deal. I don't know if you caught it, but that scribe did just threaten to kill all Taiwan everywhere. But it didn't podcast. That's not gonna go over well back home. But first, let's go to Earth. I imagine your leaders will want to talk about this. <coughs> and when you get here, we have something we need to give you. Fine. I want to take a trip to... Uh, which planet did I miss? I don't have a lot of crew. Uh, I wanted to see... I wanted to see... I wanted to see Pluto. But if, if Saturn's on the way, let's have a look at Titan. Titan! Titan is a desert planet. Freezing desert. Deadly weather. Yeah, let's not go there. What else? Enceladus. The harsh weather. Good. Good looking resources. One of the less exciting guesses. <laughs> it's a common guess. Double guess. Almost completely inert elements valued for various industrial purposes. Uh, now I'm gonna stay out of this one too. I'll get to the landers and then come back. Where's Pluto? I wanna see Pluto. There he is. <clears throat> Look, I know Pluto's a dwarf planet and I appreciate the fact that it's a dwarf planet, but it's still a cute planet and I wouldn't want to miss it. Artemis? What? Hey, it's Artemis. Yeah, ever since we found this thing all the way out here in the 40s, scientists have been wondering if it would get more interesting. And, uh, nope. Not today. So it's a tiny gas giant? Weird. Okay. Didn't know this was here. Elpis. Quacky moon. Captain, we're detecting movement on the surface. Looks like some kind of robotic drones. It might be dangerous to send the lander down unarmed. Right, I need a weapon. Okay, I need a weapon. Uh, do I have... Uranium somewhere? No. Nah. It's probably where the light sites went. Should probably improve my landers first thing. Here I come, star control. Nah. You survived! Yay! And I brought back... Was that a concern? Not anymore, it isn't. But enough about you, Captain. We need to talk about that other ship you're traveling with. Oh, that guy. Let me fill you in. So, we're definitely not alone in this universe. I think we've established that. We've suspected as much for a while. Those weird caves on Ceres, the scraps of distant radio signals, all those missing giraffes. What happened to those missing giraffes but this exactly? This proves it. There are aliens out there, including some pretty mean ones. These scribes sound terrifying. Uh, maybe they like us once to get to know us better. That will probably just give them better aim. But your successful engagement with them lends us hope that we might not be completely defenseless. A shame it had to come to that. No one woke up today wanting a war with a race of murderous space centaurs. We'll begin preparing a defensive fleet right away. Still, there's a lot about this situation that we don't know. What do you think of this Wimdu? Do you trust him, Captain? 
Uh, he smiles too much. He is unusually clingy, yes. And moist. But it doesn't look like we can afford to turn down any friends at this point. The Taiwan have graciously offered to install something on your ship. They call it a hyperspace module. Good. With it, you'll apparently be able to travel faster than the speed of light. We want you to go with the Taiwan to his home planet and request an alliance with his people. Sure. Should we send a diplomat, a president, at least a mayor? If this works, we'll be sending actual diplomats later to handle the details. But Wimdu has insisted that you make the first gesture. I think he has a bit of a crush on you. And you did save one of their ships. The Taiwan will trust you more than any other human. Moreover, you wouldn't be in command of that ship if you weren't smart, diplomatic, and adaptable. Plus, you've passed all the sanity tests. That's important. Uh, okay. I sure did. Nice, Captain. We've helped patch up the Taiwan ship. They've requested you travel with them to their homeworld in the Alpha Repeculé system. Okay. Head there right away. Ooh, Taiwan Defender. Then, if you can, negotiate an alliance between the Taiwan and Earth. After that, see what other information you can gather about the Scribe and the galaxy around us. Paying particular attention to the parts of the galaxy that want to destroy us. Obviously. We need to get up to speed quickly here. Uh, what if I need to display? What if they found something weird in that looks like the one on the moon? Yeah, we've seen the playback of your visit there. Look, Captain, finding out what happened to the Lexites is important. We can hardly ignore the original mission of Star Control. But recent events have rather overtaken things, wouldn't you say? We already knew about the facility on the moon. Your orders were to travel to Alpha Repeculae. Investigate the Lexite ruins when you have time. I'm not sure that's now. There's a machine that says it needs uranium to operate. Uranium? Do you have any idea how much paperwork needs to be done to bring radioactive materials into orbit? No. Nope. It would take years, Captain. That's not a joke. You'll have better luck finding <coughs> them yourself. You've got resource collection landers. Use them. You'll probably be able to find that on Mercury. Or maybe Io. It's not that they have a good reason why I can't have uranium. Uh... Okay, what if we need to resupply the ship? According to Wimdu, Alpha Repeculae is a short distance away by hyperdrive. You should have plenty of fuel to make it there and back. If you want to offload any minerals you've collected or refuel now, I suppose you can do that. You suppose? Uh, shipyard then! Okay, first of all, unload all the minerals. Good. Land of fuel. Fill me up. Okay. Outfits. Taiwan Cuddle Drive. <laughs> Not fully or even fully understand. It allows to travel faster than the speed of light. I want a better weapon. Point defense. I need better landers too. This reminds me of uh, one of fall very much. Okay. No different the field clusters. I don't need help landing. for advanced nukes now. Uh, point defense? Yeah, let's get point defense. We still have a second, op second option. Navigator Quintu knows the history of many star systems, just happy to be here. Okay. My fleet. <clears throat> Taiwan Defender. A vault and drone release. I can't record anything. 
Okay. Is That's there good. anything else? No, I'm good. Good luck, Captain. Aye, aye. To activate our hyperdrive, just approach the edge of the solar system. It'll engage automatically. Hang on, I want to see if I can try to hit IO. Because Mercury and Venus will be brutal. What is IO? That's Europa. The red one is IO, right? Yeah, the red one is IO. It's a hellscape planet. Okay. How difficult can that be? It's just fire blasts. Very bad weather. Heat. Uh, mm, no, I'm not gonna risk my men for that. Mercury is probably even worse. Fine, fine. Let's go. Woohoo! It looks like our new hyperdrive came with a navigational system, Captain. Let's open up the map now by pressing Tab and use the search feature to find our way to Alpha Repeculae. I love this place. Okay. That one. Go, go, go. What the hell is all of that? That's not a you. That's not a you. You have arrived. We have waited for you for a long time. We have been watching. We have never met before. But you know us. You look very familiar. Of course we do. We have chosen this appearance because it is exactly what you expect an alien to look like. We always Let's intended we would be the first to contact you. Events, however, have overtaken our intentions. Yeah, the time was watching us, apparently. The Taiwan are amateurs at watching you. We have a very particular interest in you. Discussing it now would complicate this conversation. I know. You may know that we have watched you for several thousand years. And that is all that you may know. We did not expect you to find us for some time yet. Events have accelerated. Your Lexites saw it. They took a different path. A darker path. Did they call the but they are not our concern. Our bond is only with you. Bond? Uh... Oh, the music. Yeah, the music. Why do I get a feeling you're talking down to us? Because we are. You don't like that. Of course you don't. The memory of this sensation has not been lost to us. Yes, we are speaking down to you. We have both taken different paths to this point in the manifold. We have simply seen more. You have miles, why aren't you using them? What do you know about the Lexites? The Lexites are not our concern. We don't know where they have gone, but here you are. Sooner than expected, yet almost too late. What do you mean by almost too late? The most pressing threat you probably perceive is the scribe. They are a real threat. Their threats come in varying degrees. More are coming. The spur is aflame. The eight are no more, and the precursors have abandoned us. Oh. That's actually, some of what you said makes sense. Not all of it. 
in time it will. But when that time comes, heed these words. Your path is not guarded by rails. Following familiar beats will lead to peril. If you sense your journey has been taken many times before, then beware. The obvious, unthinking path will give you no reward. Okay. I want to get to that other question. The Lexite, but here you are. What do you mean by because you are still incredibly immature. Oh, yeah, okay. You are still many years away from being able to naturally make use of hyperspace yourselves. Yet here you are, thanks to the intervention of the Taiwan. And by almost too late? The most pressing threat you yeah, probably... Okay. The spur is aflame. The eight... If you yeah, sense your journey has been taken many times before, then beware. Uh, the obvious, yeah. unthinking path will give you no reward. Let's talk about your first moment. Our technology is so far advanced from yours, we could take any form we choose. We could be angels, or demons, or little green men. We could be you. Uh, why reveal yourselves to us now? The object near here is a space station left behind by a race of aliens who have long departed from this facet. Their true name is not known to any of your peers. Precursors is a common handle in this facet and others. Their artifacts, like this space station, will not work for your peers. But they will work for you. Why? Because we have activated them for you. <laughs> we are not peers of the precursors. They are beyond even us. As they have often shown. But we have seen enough to know some of their tricks. Use these stations. They will be a great asset to you. Their caretakers are unique. But this is typical of precursor technology. It is time for us to go. Uh... Will you help us? Very few of my kind <clears throat> remain in true space. Advise we can, but defend we cannot. If you need advice on where to go next, Proxima Centauri is famously not far. The Moon of Calf's there contains many valuable resources these star bases can make use of. Cool. Beyond that, do not worry. This will not be the last time we talk. Hope not. You will be fine. Explore. Talk. Fight. Be human. That's what we do best. <coughs> okay, bye. Hang on. Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri. That's Proxima Centauri. Star with Star. Ooh, that's a big one. Let's take a look. Greek. Sixio. Fringy. Hello. 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 Calibration complete. Natural language interaction now possible with hit rate of 99.5 honk donk. Percent. <laughs> honk donk. <laughs> uh, succeed to you too. Calibrating. Six zero. What are you? One moment. Checking proper motion of calibration stars. This facility has been offline for 205,432 years. What years? Why have I come online now? Checking. Exception. Reboot cause not found. Uh, <coughs> we have some friends done your thoughts. This seems unlikely. Sending life <coughs> forms known to exist in this region of space are several orders of magnitude too primitive to operate this facility. Who are you? That was 205,432 years ago. We are humans. Jesse, 99.8% chance you are descendants of pre sapiens on local Green Belt world. Insignificant. This is quite a mystery. What are this you? This is an automated port research recreational facility created by exception name not found. 
<laughs> I am an avatar of that facility. I have been projected into this facet of the multiverse to facilitate its use. This facility, and others like it, could process raw minerals into generalized resource units and then process those into fuel, equipment, or entire vessels. It can also tell you stories. Stories! Check songs indicate large portions of my eternal memory have been corrupted. Likely. Consequently, this facility only has limited information on the following topics. Exception, name not found, local <laughs> stars, and fun facts. Fun facts! Tell us about these as name not found, folks. Exception, name not found, linked in these stars for exception, duration not found, years. They did things which I have no record of. The volume of missing records suggests they did many of those things, however. <laughs> this facility is one of those things, designed to assist with the conduct of many of those things. It seems though that this facility has laid dormant for 205,432 years. Its activation now indicates exception, things it indicates not found. <laughs> That's it. That's all I know. Well, there are other facilities that might be able to offer more. Okay, tell us about local stars. This region occupies a minor arm of the galaxy and has a typical composition of star types and ages. Notable exceptions include the unusually low density of interstellar medium in this area, likely the red supershell of supernovae that occurred 18 million years ago. This region has been continually filled with sapient life since recordings began 218,209 years ago, albeit at a slightly lower density than found in other parts of the galaxy. Are you serious? Other parts of the galaxy are more dense with sentient people than this? Okay, tell us a fun fact. The 200th digit of E is 2. Good to know. This facility is over 200,000 years old. Shads may have changed. Calibrations are still continuing. Keep keep calibrating. Enough about is you. Is there anything else? Yes. What can you offer? New ship components. Uh, let us do down paste things. Oh yeah. Hypergates. Oh, fast travel! Okay. Uh, still can't recruit. Let's look at the ship. Let's... Wait, I don't have anything to train, right? No, nothing. Nothing. I don't need you. Uh, ship parts. What do you have? Nothing of interest. Okay, docking bay. Uh... Ship split docking points. Deflector. Oh, thank you. Damage resistance. Don't have the money for it. More crew. We'll talk about this. Uh, lander cargo part. Pick more cargo. Lander cannon. But I can get one from the Lexites. I just need uranium. Yeah. Carvax Accelerator, I would like that. Yes, give me a bit of faster. Thank you. Let us do stubby things. Is there anything else? Not at the moment, thank you. We'll be going now. One other thing before we go. Yes. This facility has peers scattered throughout the spur. They are statistically likely to have experienced different corruption in their memory banks and may have access to different design templates for constructing ship components. Also of note, from any facility you'll be able to access the Hypergate material movement process and instantly travel to another facility you have already visited. That is it. That's what I thought. Exception. Civil farewell not found. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Let's take a look at Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri used to be a pretty quiet system until a few years ago. Then a bunch of refugees showed up. No one knows where they came from, but now the place is almost bustling. What do we have here? Dangerous weather. 
I can handle this. No uranium though. Dangerous landing. Gale force winds. Don't miss the landing spot. Ow. Okay, I'm fine. Dylan is good, right? It's not the one in lightning. Resource is good. Okay. What else do we have? The thing they said about Stumptal Origins is that it's a living world. So, yeah. Leave your vessel now. You might survive this. Come on. No, we need the vessel to breathe. It's a thing. Then it will be a big thing for us as well. Who are you? Gosh, you are shiny and new. We are the Kazanti, as your people will soon learn. In this part of space, you're going to want to avoid the Kazanti. Uh, with... why? We need no help. It's good. It will make you easier to kill. And it doesn't matter. We need what you have. We are entrepreneurs, friendo. Maybe we can help each other with seeking allies and assistance to fight the sky. Yeah, if you're new around here, I bet you are. Look, here's how we feel about the Scribe. Not at all. The Scribe Empire are the worst thing to ever happen to you. They'll wipe out everything you and your people have ever known. But to everyone else in the galaxy, they're a shambling wreck. A slowly unfolding disaster lashing out at everyone they see. Which leaves a lot of opportunity for entrepreneurs such as ourselves. You mean pirates? Do you know what's one of the most profitable things we do? Peeking through the bones of shiny young aliens just obliterated by the scribe. So, where do you hail from, friendo? Where are your people's bones gonna be? <laughs> None of your business. We'll be going now. No, you won't, friendo. Let's see that time on Defender. It's much more maneuverable.
Okay, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, fuck those guys. But still, let's avoid the Kazanti. Let's see what's in the outer planets. Freezing, I hope. Chromium superfluids. Sure. Damn it! Ah. Okay. Where are we? That looks like fun. What's the rest of it? X781. That's a stargate address. I have to check. Just P3X781. Hang on a minute. Next seven eight one. I know it's a target address. Okay, there's some fan fiction. P three planets. P3 X. That's a lot. P3 uh, X. What? I'm gonna make it easier. Okay. P3 X. 781 Stargate Address Why is there no resource for this? 781 No, no one knows it No one knows it. Home world command? No. It's a target address, but it's not listed anywhere. Okay. We have inclement weather, frozen, but interesting minerals, which I can use. Go. Uh, missing it. Okay. There's also something energetic. Wow! Whoa! What the hell was that? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? That was bad. That I lost five crew. What is that? Damn. Okay, don't want to lose my other land though. This is like time on kind of ships. A 
Red knocked. Warning. Do not land. Purple winds. Toxic. E4, F7, 1, 2. Yeah, that's the time one. Bad. Very bad. Yeah, that's the music of Don't Go There. Intimidator. Yeah, it's intimidating. Okay, that's just a rocky planet with some minerals and an unidentified structure. I'm gonna try that. Let's go talk to them. Hi. You gonna shoot me? Captain, this looks like some kind of trading post. Cool. Lots of aliens milling about, shouting at each other. No one seems that concerned with us, but it's obvious we don't belong here. I don't see anything of value to us. Just weird food and weirder livestock. We'll go now. It's nice that it's actually something is happening on these planets. It's not all empty. now You don't see me. Keep going. Mind your own business. Oh no. Okay. These are defending drones and I'm not gonna fight them. Okay. I have some resources. Don't go here, world. Crystal. Toxic. Uh, too bad. Red elements are worth two. Okay. That looks like a green wall. Slaughter. Organic. Terrestrial. And it's not sure. Okay. What is that structure? Over there. If it's gonna kill me, do it first.
Hi. Hello, Bayam. Welcome. Bayam. Uh, hi. This supply depot serves all Noras vessels passing through this area, along with some of the friendlier aliens we encounter. I'm friendly. You seem friendly. Or Bayam. Is there anything you'd like to purchase? Um. Tell us more about your people? I don't know about that. The refugees, Bayam. Telling you about my kind could invite more danger upon us. I understand. But I'll tell you what I can. Where are you from? Not this sad little system. We came from further up the spur. The look on your face could not be blanker. You are so new at this. I know the spell. Let me find terms you understand. You know. Describe? Well, we hail from even beyond their borders. Why are you here, though? The death of trillions of our people. Oh. I will not tell you the whole story, but some of these things took an interest in our ancestral home. Is that enough? Yes. I apologize if I seem blunt, but evil things lurk in this galaxy. And they do not care for manners. I will not tell you the whole story, but some of these things took an interest in our ancestral home. Now, we run. I'm sorry. Where are you running to? Our empire was a small one, Bayam, but it had many connections. We spoke with traders who had traveled far, with beings who had circumnavigated the entire galaxy. That's impressive. There is a place. Far from here, in a distant corner of the Outer Spur. We will be safe there. None of this need concern you. We will have traveled beyond your realm within a matter of years, if not months. Thank you. Sorry. Yes, it is. Uh, let's look what it's you have. It's primarily food. Only suitable for a Noras diet. And fuel which is suitable for any ship's diet. Oh. And fuel pressure regulators. We have a lot of those. What do they do? What is this fuel pressure regulator? It's a device that regulates the pressure of fuel. Awesome. It's extremely well named. Yes. Our vessels are notoriously unreliable fuel pressure regulators. So we keep plenty in stock. But it would be no use for a vessel with your level of technology. Okay. Okay. We'll be going now, thank Safe you. Travels by arm. How many arms do you have? Outside or land outside? Happy? No, not enough. Okay, there's more leeway than I thought. It's a tornado. Face planted. Yay. I need to kill a drone. Face planted meant I lost crew. 
Don't do that. That shouldn't have been an achievement. At least not an early one. The twister is blocking out the sun. Oh. Still more to collect. I think maybe it's time to leave the system. No rest. Wait, no rest? Can I talk to the no rest? Hey, look. Attention, unknown vessel. We require assistance. Explain. So do we it actually. Is a galaxy. We know this better than most. Yeah, I heard. We are no last so refugees. We have traveled far. There is a safe harbor for us beyond this region of the galaxy. If we can make it there, there is our fuel pressure regulator. <laughs> it is broken. All the engines are dead. Other systems are on emergency power. Other Noras vessels in this system might have a spare, but they will not share. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there are nothing to offer. Will help you? No resources to trade. You seem surprised. You are a young race. You still know generosity. A tiny bit. You will grow out of this if you keep growing. We will impinge on your generosity. Approach the other Norass in the system. Return to us with the field pressure regulator. Uh,. Wait here, yeah, we'll see what we can do. You will? Then we await your return. Give me a second. I saw another no last. There it is. Don't go away, don't go away. Hello, two armed one. You How approach do you us have? without shooting first. This is a pleasant <laughs> change for creatures in this part of the spur. Nevertheless, we can't speak with you. We have much material to gather before making our next leg of our journey. We're looking for assistance and allies to protect us, to protect us from the sky. We can't help. It's ridiculous of you to ask. If you wish to know more, talk to the Norass manning a depot on the planet Slatha in this system. Yeah, I thought He's so. a talker. Yeah, that's what I thought.
It's cute. We have quests now. Okay, what did we put that? Yeah, he's much of a talker either. Maybe a little bit of a talker. I identify this Tushan. Welcome back, Bayam. Uh, it's Bayam Yeah. And fuel pressure regulators. I want one. Device, it's our best, but it would be no use for a vessel with your level of technology. Actually, we met a Norse vessel who sent us to fetch a spell. Stranded vessel in the outer system? You will help those fools? They have nothing to offer. Why? Why won't you help them anyways? They have nothing to offer us. Do you find that offensive? Well, I could find it offensive you would help them for no reason. But I won't. I've met stranger beings than you. Yeah, me too. How much is it? Very well. A field pressure regulator Ow. will cost you 1,000 RU. you? Ow. That's a lot. Give it. We'll load it up on your craft now. Damn, that's a lot. Thank you. Safe Bye. Travels, Bayam. That's a lot of money. I hope I raised my stuff raised my status with them because that's expensive. And with Anoast, we can't help. We need a fuel regulator, a uh, supply depot, and we obtain a fuel regulator. Uh, return fuel pressure regulator, visit the time of homeworld, find a hotel for the sites. Okay. Uh, my manifest. Damn, that took everything. What do we do with a crash Tesla? I uh, wanted to look at other things. <clears throat> oh, this has happened before. The galaxy has been home to massively powerful civilizations almost since the time it could properly be called a galaxy. Within the region closest to Earth, the most prominent and recent of these is a group of alien colony called the Carlsons. These powerful and curious beings departed either from these styles or existence entirely approximately 200,000 years ago. Much of this period remains a mystery to stop at all, and while our mission is currently more contemporary in nature, we advise all captains to seek out any information they can find on this era. Whoever these precursors were, their impact is still felt long after their dis disappearance, and the more we learn about them, the greater our adventures will be. Okay. Let's talk about some fuel regulators. You have returned. Yeah. Do you have the pressure regulator? Yeah. Uh... Yes, we have it. This is a great thing you have done for us. We have little to repay you with, but we do have information. Well, the favor. There's a crash ship on the Ada Windigo 2A. You might find useful materials there. Thank you again. I hope it's a great thing you just told me. Have fun. I'm gonna collect some more resources. Boreal, terrestrial. Ooh, silver. That's worth something. Okay. Let's go. It's kind of a desert planet, isn't it? Resources are good resources. I love these things. Ah! Damn! Damn! Okay, stay out of your way, got it. Oh. 
was hit by, the, by an alien ball. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm not gonna bother with the rest. 966, yeah, I should get out of here. Taiwan, 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 don't run away from me. Uh, you're much faster than me. Ah, uh, space! Psychedelic. Six you. Welcome back. Six you. Uh, let's do stylish things. First, let's get rid of my conventional. Okay, not bad. Super fluids. Sell those too. Fucking faster. Sell that one too. And what a lander. My fuel is fine. Let's see. I can't replace the nuke yet. I don't care about that. The cuddle drive, no, but it's not. Uh, maybe we should get a more, more cool. Deflector, I should save for the deflector. Save up. Is there anything else? No, thank you. You've been lovely. Bye bye. Exception. Civil farewell not found. Still. Okay, let's go to where we're supposed to go. I love the. I love how everything looks here. Everything is so preppy. Wait. Uh. Too loud. Okay. Loud music, it's a bit too loud. Okay, let's do some more reading. See you on the other side. In 2030, humanity saw something amazing occur. The first truly artificial general intelligence was born. A crea creation born of the Promethean Corporation, an information technology monolith owned and run by two of the Lexites, a group of technologists that have become something like rock stars in their fields. Shortly thereafter, the AGI emerged with one of its own creators in a bid to understand humanity. As the years followed, more AGIs were born and more humans began to merge with their minds with machines. In time, these beings became something else, neither man nor machine. The post-human entities which took on the name of their progenitors, simply the Lexites. For decades to come, those beings would coexist with the many billions of humans that remained flesh and blood. The presence equal parts welcomed and feared. One of the advantages born from the Lexites was the creation of a fully automated economy. Manual labor became redundant by the technological gifts the post-humans imparted. Cool. That's a nice way to... 
Let's just go about it. Okay, map. That one, let's go. Autopilot. What? What is this? Where are the planet lines? What's going on here? Hello world. Too hot. What is this pink thing? Brown dwarf. Cool. Lightless, of course. Cool, and very pink. Okay, let's go towards where the arrow is pointing. Taiwomia. That's a Balakuza. Hi. Well, hello! We see you're with Chief Viscosity Officer Wimdu. Have you captured him? Did he weep much? Uh, he wept a bit, yes. And he's one of the bravest of us. We're escorting him home. You are? You mean... When do you mean... A friend? Uh... This is the saddiest thing to ever happen to our civilization. So I guess... You should hurry to our homeworld right away to deliver the good news. You... <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Uh... Uh, what was your homeworld again? Tyromia is in the Alpha Repicule system. That's where we are. It's the fifth planet out. The really drippy one. Uh, thank you. We'll go now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Are you really going to go there? You're not just saying you will, so we stay there all day waiting for you. Because we've had that happen. You'll be fine. Slow. <laughs> you always call slow. This is the moon of slow. Okay. Eh, let's let's go have a look. Uh, I'll go visit the planet in a minute. Where is the calcium? There it is. Okay. Play warm you you say. Great seeping pool! They actually came! Welcome, humans! We greet you with many open arms. How many? Chief Viscosity Officer Wimdu has already told us so much about his new friends. What did he say? Uh, did he say friends? We are not friends. You're not? Weird. I'm sure it's just an innocent misunderstanding. No, it's kind of creepy. Yes, Wimdu gets that a lot. It's why he gets sent out a lot on friendship potential surveys. <laughs> no one here can stand him either. <laughs> why not? Various reasons. But enough about that. Should we glom on to some more official matters? If we must. Uh, I'd kind of like to get into those various reasons. Will it take too much time? <laughs> Let's make time. Okay. Uh, briefly, Windu is disliked amongst his peers and family and everyone else because of his odor, personality, appearance, 
Harvey's older again, and that creepy smile. That's sad. Not really. We're conditions that every Taiwan share. No one can stand me either. <laughs> well, despite that, we'd like to be our allies. You wish to be our friends? I said allies, not friends. Well, then of course we'll ally with you. This is the greatest day in Taiwan history. That's also sad. You agreed to that very quickly. We've grown soggy thinking about this day for a long time, humans. We knew you would be our best friends from the first time we saw you. Because you've been spying on us for decades now. Creepily, yes. We will immediately send emissaries to your homeworld to share technology, coordinate with your leaders, and practice handshakes. Carefully, please. So, what would you like to do now, best friend? <laughs> Does anyone on your ship want a massage? Um... <laughs> uh... We would like to not get murdered by the scribe. Thank you. That's going to be tricky. You've already blown up one of their ships. They made me do it. They hate that. Uh, can we apologize? Definitely! That would slow down the destruction of your people by entire seconds. Can we hide from them? Probably not, now that you've shot some of them. It might take a while, but they're going to notice a missing ship. And once that happens, it won't be long until they find Earth. Which isn't going to be pleasant for you. Can we join the Empire? They're not a big fan of new aliens these days. Though they're not really big fans of us either, to be honest. They haven't accepted anyone new into their Empire in several centuries. I wouldn't count on them making an exception for you. Because again... You did completely kill one of their ships. You keep mentioning that. Okay, can we fight them? Look, we know you have a lot of gumption and spirit and nuclear weapons. Yes, special so nuclear weapons. So many nuclear weapons. A lot of them. What is wrong with you anyways? I don't know. <laughs> we really, really like them. Oh, well, even with those... You have primitive spaceships. I know. And you don't understand hyperspace. And you only know like half the digits of pi. So I would say half. you cannot fight the scribe. Not alone, at least. We could tell the scribe you have Glop with the ships. You need to help us then. That was you! Oh, Glop me. That is not the distinction they will make at all. They're going to kill the heck out of us. Having friends is dangerous. Maybe being unpopular was some kind of evolutionary defense for our people. Maybe. Maybe we should have stuck with that. Uh, you can't be popular forever, guys. Wow. You are definitely the first person who's ever told us that. <laughs> But maybe you're right. Maybe there are other aliens you have something in common with. We've seen lots of battle-damaged scribe ships in the last few years. Uh -huh. Which suggests someone out there is already fighting them. Though we have no idea who would do such a thing. Shooting the scribe sounds like the kind of cool activity people tend to not include us in. <laughs> uh... I'm sure the other one is just shy around here. There are lots of aliens around here, but most of them aren't that consequential. The scribe mostly just leave them be. Until they become consequential, that is. And then... Tao! 
It's weird that the scribe have taken such an interest in you, in fact, because you are extremely inconsequential. I guess you just have that kind of look to you, the look which makes evil alien empires want to wipe you out. Anyways, if you're looking for aliens who might be able to actually help you, you'll be better off talking to the Scribe's ward species. That's what I'm talking about. Not all of which actually like the Scribe that much. There's the Muke. They have lots of tentacles, so you'd think they'd be good at hugging, but they don't seem into it. Their homeworld is in the Beta Pavo system. I look into that. Then there's the Mengmak. They're pretty friendly. A bunch of their ships are in the Speaker constellation. But we've seen them in lots of other places too. Oh, and then there's the Drenken. They're some kind of living weapon. They really like the Scribe and really like killing things for the Scribe. Yeah, they don't sound very helpful. So we uh, don't hang around them too much. You can find them in the Alpha Uxor system if you like being killed. <laughs> Thank you. Also, there's the scribe. They're everywhere. Though that's probably not that helpful. So, what are you going to do? I mean, what, what are, are we, we going, going to, to do? do? Uh, we're going to find an intergalactic alliance to stop the scribe. Uh, yeah, let's go with the intergalactic alliance. Blop. You are so cool! Let us know if there's anything we can do to help. Uh, for the you can have as many hugs as you need. Also, perhaps more relevantly, please feel free to commandeer any Taiwan vessels that you require. Can I have that in writing? I can assure you, the Taiwan on board will be more than happy to come with you. Can I have that in writing? More than happy. Like, it'll be weird. <laughs> it'll be weird. <laughs> um, can we buy supplies from you? Oh, awesome. What do you have, landers? What can you offer? No? Nothing new? Not enough for the deflector. Okay, okay. It'll be weird. Taiwan Defender. Ow, they're expensive! Oh, they're expensive! I need way more resource units. It's 12 points. I need way more resource units. Uh. Let's see about commandeering Taiwan vessels. Hey, hi. Would you like to join? Hello, best friends. What are you up to today? Can we come? Uh, is the ship armed? We could use one of your ships, so sure. Really? This, this has literally never happened before. No one has ever wanted to do anything with us. We'll detach a ship from our fleet right now to join you. We're going to have such an adventure! It's weird. See you later, best friends. Yeah, it's a bit weird. Woohoo! That was easy. It's actually, actually a pretty good ship. Let's let's talk to that one too. That one hitchhiker. Hey, hey, wait, wait! Can we talk? Hello, best funny meeting you here! No, it's not, it's your home. Uh, we need to borrow one of your ships. Really? We'll detach a ship from our fleet right now to join you! That's easy. We're going to have such an adventure! Thank you. See you later, best friends. Cool. Uh, three ships. Yay! 
Hey, our new best friends have stopped by to hang out. Uh, can we have some fuel? Of course, best friends. Cool. Uh, what do you do here? What is this place? This is one of our friendship colonies. It's where we send Taiwan who have a hard time making friends at home. It's a colony with the least popular Taiwan, you mean? Shh, I don't let them hear you. What do you do here? Normal colony stuff. Science. Reading books. So when we get in lots of arguments about comics. That's important. Uh, okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye! What else is here? Is that the same battle goes on? It's our good friend. What's up? Good friends. Good friends? I thought we were best friends. We've been reading a book on how to act cooler. Seeming less desperate. That kind of thing. Keep, keep doing this. Want to hang out and read it with us? Oh, uh, we need to buy one of the ships. Really? Yes. We'll get happy later. Thank you. See you later, best friends. Yeah, I'm all pointed up. It's really cool that they have fighters and diplomats and what's on planet number one. Oops. No, sun, sun. Hell world. Canyon world. Winds. Okay, I can handle winds. Iridium. I need I need uranium. Let's try it. Okay, that worked. Video. Again. <clears throat> damn it, damn it, damn it. Ow. Oh shit. No, not worth it. Fudge. Damn, these things are expensive. There's a planet. Too hot. Guys. Welcome back, best friend. Oh, I need to buy some stuff. Wow, that covered the cost. Yeah, I should really stop by for expensive minerals. Anything else of interest in your system? Ooh, that's a new one. That's a different thing. Hello. Hi. Hello, best friends. What are you up to today? Can we come? Uh, no, I'm all loaded up. Is the ship even armed? Not as such. But we do have scientific instruments and off-board pods that are dangerous if used incorrectly. We have been known to deliberately use them incorrectly. 
See you later. See you later, best friends. Okay, I'm gonna cut it here. I'll harvest some resources and grind a bit. And I'll be back with more interesting stuff. Later, after I finish. Wait, I identified landing object. Let's go have a look. Uh, not a lot of things to, to see here. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Found a wrecked ship, Captain. We'll see if we can get this thing flying again. Cool. You know what? Yeah, it's an easy, easy place. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna grind a bit and then I'll come back with a new video later. Bye bye! Um, disconnect. Stop broadcasting. Stop recording.